is Joe Diesel, and this is my 1985 Chevrolet Suburban. And I'm going to explain to you how I put a barn door conversion on this to, and uh, how this works. The main thing you have to do, you have to have a donor vehicle. And you want to get as many parts as you can, like all these connectors, this whole piece, lower, all these bolts for the hinges and of course the doors, the straps, and these hardware here. The hardware up here, on the very top, and these rub plates. All this stuff costs you money and you will not find it if you don't take it from your donor vehicle. This is what I did. These things are built crazily very tough. This is the whole corner of my donor vehicle. As you can see, this all matches up. The tailgate vehicle here, you will see a dimple right here and a dimple right here and this bolt. That is the layout for finding out where your hinge holes will be. These are one inch hole saws and what I did, I just took a paper template like this and this lines up with this bolt and the center for these holes used a center punch, punch this and put these three holes in and I did the same thing for the top up here. I copied this off my donor vehicle, put it over here, taped it on, center punched it, and drilled those out. Underneath this, you will find this part here, and you it will not have any nut plates. To get those nut plates off, you have to go from the back here, cut this out, and then there's some uh, spot welds that hold the bracket that holds the nut plate in. Once you take that off, then you got to take this bracket and the bottom ones will be right here in your behind your uh, tail light. So you'll have to cut a square hole in here, slide the bracket in, bolt it in, and then weld it across here. And then this one will be set. Them are the easy ones to get. The ones up here, you have to cut a hole. And it will be right about like that. That's my template. And you cut this with a, a 16th inch cutoff saw wheel on a grinder. You cut this out, you get behind it, and once you get behind it, you'll have to cut this hole here, put it in, bolt it in place, and then weld it. You got to do it in the upper, this is the lower one that I've already done over there. The uh, bottom part here. You have to pull this plate, and there's bolts all the way across this. You've got to take them out, and there's two body mounts, one here and one here. You just loose, take the nuts off and pound them up, and this deck that goes around this piece will lift up. You've got to take, let's see, you've got to take this bolt here, which is an index bolt, this one, and there's another one right underneath here. This is the piece that I took off of the, the tailgate one. See, it's different right here. It comes out and drops. Now, you could buy this whole piece that goes across from uh, uh, LCM catalog, and it's about 200 bucks. So, if you have your donated vehicle, and you could find these spot welds, you could drill it all the way across, take these two bolts off, one on the top, one on the bottom, 
and then there's two pieces you got to cut from underneath. This piece right here, there's one here and one over there, and then there's a piece right in the center, right between these. You cut them and you drill them out and you get the whole thing off. I didn't do that. I actually cut it off here on both sides and took it off in three pieces. And then when I put it back on, I welded this all up. You're going to have to take your bumper off and this uh, splash shield here that I didn't put back on mine. I just welded up all the holes. And uh, when, after you get that done, and I didn't do this till afterwards, but you could do it either way. But I took this part here, and uh, here's the type of tool you need with a, just a thin blade. And you can cut all this out because you want to find out where these slots are. And once you cut this out and all this is off, you just put this right on there and you mark these slots. Take a drill, drill across, and then use the cutoff wheel to make the slot. That comes off. And uh, it went right on. This went right on. To get this stuff off up here, it has this piece here that goes right there. You, there's a, uh, I think there's a one bolt here, it's right here, or screw. You pry this weather stripping off and there's bolts underneath there, one, two, three, four, and they go all the way across and that will all come down. I had a real problem getting my this part off my truck because whoever, whenever they did at the factory, which you can see where the spot welds were, this is that piece. I cut it all the way across and then I got a, I got a big chisel like this here and a hammer and got in there and they come right off. But you couldn't see where the, where the pop welds, pop uh, spot welds were. From the outside. If I would have ground on them, you might be able to see it, but it came right off and I didn't damage the back. And then I cleaned all that up, painted it underneath there, and ground off where all the holes were, put it back together, pried it down, and welded it up. And it's just in primer right now. And uh, it's not too bad of a job, but you really got to think what you're doing here on these holes and trying to get around behind them and cutting the holes. That's probably the hardest part. And then you got a little body work here. A little wire feed will work. It works great. The hinges, they, they actually bend these at the factory to get your door swing right. So I had to take these off and straighten them. And then the door lined up perfect. And uh, far as the seam is, which was looked pretty good. I was kind of worried about that. The uh, other part that I didn't have from my donor vehicle was this nut plate that goes underneath here. And what I did, I put nut sets in these two rub blocks and then I actually had a wire on a piece of flat bar with a nut on it that I fished through here and started these two on and uh, that worked great. This takes a little time. I don't have the electric door locks uh, on this because I just, I just don't need them. And actually the, the light switch here actually works on this door and this was the one that was for the tailgate. And they have some electrical connections if you can look right here you can see these that's what they had and they're supposed to be in there and that was probably for the electric door locks i don't have that hooked up either i hope this helps a little bit it's, it's a doable thing uh just by going through the tail light to do the bottom ones and i did that before i did anything else i didn't even take the tailgate off i put these hinge plates on so that i knew i could do it then once i got that done and the hardest thing would be getting this off whole and trying to use it with 
the other one. Otherwise, you could buy a whole new piece, but it's going to cost you at least two hundred dollars from uh, from that magazine and plus shipping. So if you could salvage this, it's better off. And I just use the cutoff wheel. I cut the whole thing out. That's the part that's underneath there. That's back here. So if you got a big cutoff wheel, you can cut all this off an old vehicle. Then you can work on it. I hope that helps.